Good morning, Aries. This message is for you. I'm going to do a Celtic cross reading in your middle energy. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Woo -woo. Uh, <clears throat> this message will be for uh, the weeks of November the 1st through the 15th. While I was meditating on your energy, I was getting Empress vibes. I was <clears throat> I was seeing the Empress. So I'm feeling like you're releasing your boundaries. I feel like you're coming into your own. Um, I feel a very mothering energy from you right now. And maybe you have children, maybe you don't. But I'm feeling like... You're creating something. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Coming across as the Empress. <clears throat> All these rehearsals. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of the Knight of Wands, excuse me, the glare. Sorry about that. Move this light real quick. Hopefully that'll calm down the glare. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we've got all the cards in sights. Okay, Aries, I feel a lot is coming up for you right now. You have the Will of Fortune and the Ace of Cups in your present position. You're um, being challenged by your Ace of Cups. <clears throat> I feel at the moment you're kind of working on yourself. You're moving in the right direction, um, but opportunities keep coming your way. I feel like opportunities are coming your way, kind of causing a distraction. Um, this could also be someone you care about, someone you love, who is causing a distraction for where you want to go at the moment. And in the near past, I feel you have the hangman reversed. I feel like there's things in your life that you have not wanted to sacrifice, you have not wanted to let go, and that's kind of hindered your progress at the moment. Um, I 
in the foundations of your reading, you have the Five of Pentacles reversed. And I feel like, although you may have felt like you were distanced, you were um, maybe lacking in some area, I feel like you are coming out of that situation. Maybe the money is flowing in now. Maybe you your raise has come through. Um, maybe you received a new promotion and now you're feeling like, the lack is over, now the hard work begins because in your crowning position, you have the Eight of Pentacles, which is mastering your skill, hard work. Um, so I feel like in the near past, you were lacking, but you are coming out of that situation. You are actually working very hard to progress. And... In the near future position, you have the Two of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like you're having trouble finding balance. You're, you're lacking the ability to set your priorities in order to move ahead in, a, in the direction that you want to move. Um, maybe you're not able to make the certain choices that you need to make. And I'm, I'm kind of feeling that for you. Um, maybe there's, there's choices that need to be made and you're kind of hindering yourself from those choices. You, um, maybe they're hard choices to make and you, you're kind of stuck as how to go. In your um, position, you are the Empress. And I was feeling that energy when I was meditating on your sign, Aries. And I'm feeling like this is a great time for you to embark on new journeys, to be fruitful in your abundance. She's very intuitive. She's very fruitful. She's very a fertile for, for new ideas, new ventures, for having a family. And I'm, I'm feeling that motherly energy from you right now. I feel like this is definitely you. And the, the universe has, has let me know that, yeah, I was on the right track when I was visiting you as the Empress. Thank you, universe. Now, in uh, your environment, you have the King of Swords reversed. And I'm feeling like there's someone in your energy. There's someone in your energy who is um, not very truthful to you at the moment. They're, they're not leading you in the right direction if that makes sense. They're kind of using thoughts, manipulating. They're, they're using strategy against you at the moment. And I'm kind of feeling that energy. So um, I would be wise to, when you see this energy, nip it in the bud, put it to a stop. Don't take in the energy that they're giving because they're manipulating you. I see that they are, um, and you're actually the queen of swords upright. So you see the truth in your outcome. You have the queen of swords. So you definitely see the truth of this person. And maybe this is a person that you're currently cutting away from your life. Um, maybe this is someone that you're, you've decided to let go of. But I feel like this person is manipulating you. This person is saying things to you who is um, to try to keep you, to try to keep you with them. Or if it's a job, they're manipulating you to let you know that, oh, we need you. We need you so bad. Um, we can't let you go at the moment. We don't have enough help. And I'm, I'm feeling that for you. But you know the truth. You know what is best for you. You know what is best for you, Aries. And now in your 
hopes and dreams, you have the nine of swords reversed. So you no longer fear. You, you are letting go of the anxiety, of the worry, of the sleeplessness. You're letting all of that go. So I feel like you are in a great position to, to build yourself up, to gain your wisdom, your truth, to um, go along and be able to, to prosper in this new venture, in this new venture that you're obtaining. I feel like with the, the Queen of Swords, you have all the knowledge and I feel like you are being totally honest with yourself. If this isn't you, this is energy of another who is giving you that total honesty, that truth, um, because the, the Queen of Swords, she wants the best for you. She wants you to have all the knowledge and the awareness as you possibly can. And I feel like with that, with the Queen of Swords, you're actually coming out of any anxiety or um, you're, you're walking away from your nightmare, if that makes sense. <clears throat> okay, now clarifying this information, we have the Six of Cups the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So we have two sixes in this situation. So I feel like you are moving forward. This is success here. And I feel like this is, you're victorious. You're victorious in this situation. Um, this may be something that you were thinking about from the past. This may be someone coming in from the past who has made you an offer to um, that's turning out to be more successful than you thought. Um, but of course it is a lot of work, but you are at the end of this cycle. The 10 of wands is the end. So this is no longer a burden. You're carrying your harvest. You're carrying your harvest back home. So these are the fruits of your labors here. So yeah, I think that's very beautiful for you. I'm going to sit these right here where you can see them. Okay, let's clarify this a little bit here. Okay, and I'm going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We have the Ten of Wands again. So I feel like this was a lot of work that you put into. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Cups, I feel like this is, this is your destiny turning into something else. This is your destiny. There's too many cards there. <clears throat> so you're currently... Um, you have the Ten of Wands twice, so I feel like destiny is definitely on your side. You are moving into a new cycle, um, maybe in work or um, at home. So I, I feel like this, this is new beginnings in creation. Okay, and okay, with the... Hangman reverse, we have the Page of Pentacles. So I believe that you're studying something. I believe that you're working on something that's very important to you. Uh, you may receive a message um, about the situation, but I'm feeling like this is something that has had you stuck, um, and you're going to receive a message to bring you out of that, out of that, those feelings of being stuck. I feel like that's coming in for you pretty quickly okay and with the eight of pentacles you have the knight of pentacles so yeah i think that um you're working very hard and you're mastering something that you're doing and that's actually um gonna bring in more money for you um that is going to that 
Well, that they see that you're very reliable and that you're working very hard. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who works very hard. Um, now, although their energy is slow, they're almost at a stop, but the Knight of Pentacles, he, he's working hard. He's continuously working. So I've, I feel that for you. And the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you are definitely coming out of this situation. Um, you have a new confidence, a new awareness. You are feeling more self-assured of your abilities. Um, I feel like you're using your intuition, you're using the abilities that you have, and um, it's going to push you forward in whatever it is that you're trying to do at the moment. Okay, can we have a card for the two uh, pentacles? And you have the four pentacles in reverse. Okay, so with the... Uh, the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, you're having trouble making a decision, and it may be something financial. It may be something that you have to make, um, something that you have to take out of your budget, and you really don't want to do it. Um, but I feel like if you don't make this decision quickly, um, it could take away from your security in the end. So... If, if you're desiring long-term security, um, I think that you need to make this decision. You need to just cut this loose. Uh, it'll be in your best interest in the end. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so please take this as advice. Um, but yeah, that, that's what I'm seeing for you. I feel like you're holding on really tight to something that you, you know you need to make a choice for. Okay, and um, let's get some energy for this Empress. What are we seeing for the Empress here? Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Yes, okay. With the Empress and the Three of Pentacles, you definitely have support. You have your team who is standing behind you, cheering you on. All right. I love that for you, Aries. With the Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so the Queen is letting him know, you know, he, she cannot be manipulated. Maybe you are coming at, at this person with um, kind of untruths so that they kind of see you as someone different. But I, I see the Queen of Swords is knowing exactly where he stands and kind of um, blocking any manipulation that he's trying to, to give to you. All right. And with the Nine of Swords, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, so someone's going to come in who is going to um, maybe give you a message. They're offering you love or support um that is why you're you're not feeling as anxious or as worried because you have that support that person has come in and has reassured you that everything will be okay okay i love that for you Aries. and with the queen of swords you have the chariot in reverse okay now, with the Queen of Swords and the Chariot, I feel like you're trying very hard to move forward. Um, I feel like this is something that you obviously want to do, but I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you are really in this stuck energy. That's the reason why we also had this hangman in reverse. You're really feeling stuck at the moment. Um, you're stuck on making your decisions. You're stuck on um, something in your life. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's work. 
Um, it could be finances since we have so many pinnacles in the reading as well. But I'm feeling like as long as you're making these decisions, I feel like once these decisions are made, um, everything's going to kind of unfold. Everything will fall into place. Everything will feel less of a burden. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm truly feeling that for you, Aries. Um, let's get three more cards, please, for the advice. Okay, the Hermit, the Three of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Okay. And you have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like whatever you are going through, it's it's trying to hold you back. Um, I feel like you have all the wisdom that you need. You have all the wisdom. Um, the Hermit is very wisdom energy. It's going within. It's finding the answers by going within and um, bonding with spirit. For the answers and i feel like you're supported in this as well um i feel like there's people behind you who are showing you a lot of care and a lot of love and letting you know that they're there for you now this may be something it's it's not going to happen overnight aries um but you will have victory in this it will be slow moving but um and i think that you're, you're feeling like you're going unnoticed at the moment. Um, but just know that with your support, there's definitely people who are supporting you right now. Um, with your support, you won't go unnoticed for long. So, yeah, that is your reading. Let's get some oracle cards for you, Aries. Let's see, I'm going to get... One of these and then I'll get an angel card. The land between number 40, that may be something significant for you during this time. The number 40, the land between. Yeah, I feel like you're currently stuck. You're currently stuck in this situation, um, but you will move forward. And a lot of cards wanted to pop out here, okay. <laughs> and yeah, the number six, it is what it is. So yeah, and I think um, yeah, this situation. Yeah, I mean, and our situations, they're not going to stay stick around forever. So this is just a cycle. And I feel like you are going to be victorious. It's just going to come at its own pace. That's why I think it says it is what it is. Um, but just know that you're being supported at time and spirit sees you spirit sees you as the empress at this time Aries so whatever it is that you're going through you will make it out fruitful and abundantly okay you are the empress energy okay let's see Akasha, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others, help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Okay. Um, maybe you're a counselor. Maybe you're a teacher. Um, maybe you're just teaching someone something at the moment. But I'm feeling like spirit is behind you. Okay, one more. Okay, 
Daniel, I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Okay. So this could have something to do with your marriage. This could have something to do. That's the reason why we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords um, in reverse. You may be going through a battle in your marriage at the moment. Okay. But Aries, in the, in the message box, in the comment section below um please give me your messages your comments i'd love to hear them this is your reading um aries please please comment below let me know um if this resonates with you and as always many blessings to you love and light